Okay, guys, so um, this might be a new thing. I don't know if I would really consider this a real talk, but I guess actually it definitely will go in that playlist because this is some real ass shit right now, and I'm going completely off the cuff, off rip, straight thoughts. I just finished watching the very last episode of The Promised Neverland Season 2, and boy, I really, really can't believe the anime industry is slowly turning into what it is turning into. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm very um, very worried that this is truly what the... the Like, this is the direction that we're going to be going into going forward. I really don't have any actual faith in any kinds of ad adaptations now. I'm not trying to say that all animes are at risk. But but I, I, it does kind of sound like I am saying that. And why? Because we are not ever now guaranteed that we're going to have an actual true adaptation of anything that we are going to be reading from manga and then going forward at that point for the anime. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you guys have read the manga and saw Promise Neverland, you will probably agree with everything that I'm about to say. And for those that watched it and probably felt, eh, season two wasn't as good as season one, eh, you are actually correct because guess what? The worst part about all of this is that if you are an anime only fan, then you have no idea what you missed out on. And it takes a lot for me to interrupt my schedule with what I already have going on, planned and working on and whatnot, to just do this kind of video because I will tell you this, I'm not gonna edit this, I'm not going to add anything extra, I'm not trying to make this funny, I'm just trying to deliver my thoughts and my point and hopefully it gets across to you guys is that I don't understand why th things are the way that they are but the fact of the matter is, is that this is not okay and it's not acceptable. As a fan, as someone who consumes a lot of media with anime, manga, comic books, video games, other types of movies, all right, the entertainment industry is pretty important, especially important during, you know, a pandemic, right, where we're looking for something to rely on to keep us entertained to get us through all these freaking hard times right that's the one thing that can go right in our lives right but then when you have something like how they treated promise neverland okay let me tell you this is a show that i legitimately one year ago to date i feel like i used to read the manga during like moments at work when i had a chance and it was that good that I continued to conti like to to read chapter after chapter because it is as amazing as it gets. Now, granted, the ending I probably wasn't the biggest fan of, but at the end of the day, overall, it was still a very very great manga. I would definitely consider it one of the goaded ones. All right, that could be probably argued or whatever, but I'm not here to argue. I'm just trying to state a fact. Promise Neverland as a series, as a manga was amazing it was a very great story was very unique to itself and we we never saw anything like this before okay and then you think you figure after how they handle season one where it was basically very closely to the original source material everyone praised season one expecting season two and beyond keyword beyond to be just as good if not better because what's the one thing about anime that you look forward to when you come from the manga you you cannot wait to see it in action with all of its beautiful animations and colors and and voice actors and music the background tracks all of what makes anime amazing and enjoyable and entertaining to watch are the reasons why we look forward to seeing the adaptations. But when the studios behind it all, those that are funding it, those that are putting in their money, right, that are like, okay, well, this is how we're going to go about things. We're going to change things. Why? Why are they changing things? Because they're trying to maximize their own pockets. They're not trying to fully invest. And they're just trying to make whatever they're trying to make out of it. And that's it. it they clearly, based on what they gave us for season two of Promise Neverland, they are only telling me that they could give a shit and they don't care enough 
to want to produce something that is of substance that matches or exceeds the original source material. And a lot of people are kind of worried about what they're doing with Attack on Titan because obviously they're calling that the final season, but I have a whole skit coming out for that. And whether I'm wrong or right on that whole predicament, I don't care. Hopefully you guys I you know get entertained and laugh for that one. But either way, I, I'm just not liking what I'm seeing. And I feel like we should have... We, we, we should have paid more attention to other series that have been mistreated that shouldn't have ever been even thought to be mistreated because those animes, I'm going to reference some, okay? I'm, you know what, let me just reference one because I don't want to make this video too long, but Berserk, okay? For those that know me, know that I'm a very big Berserk fan. I love Berserk. Out of all of the, 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 the mass majority of series that I'm in, you might think I'm primarily a shonen guy, okay? But but Berserk is definitely ain't no shonen, okay? That is some raw, hardcore stuff, and I'm not even going to get into it too much, but for those that don't know it, Google it, okay? It's one of the pillars of the seinen genre of manga. It, it, first of all, Berserk is so good, okay, that you have the creator literally taking however many hiatuses that he, that he wants, okay? My man will leave us dry for a year, before he puts out another chapter. But guess what? Everything in that in that manga is so great that you can't knock them, right? So why do I bring this up? Because Crunchyroll decided to bring it back and say, oh, this is a popular franchise. This is a popular series. Loads of people love it. Let's make a quick buck out of this. And how are we going to do it? We're going to hire a studio that never handles this type of genre for an anime. And we're going to have them do it so that we don't have to really fork up the actual funds to produce something of berserk quality and caliber, okay? Because if you look at the artwork that Miura does, I mean, it's a, it, it makes sense sometimes why, you know, this dude needs rest because his, his work is so fine and detailed, unlike many others. And there's great mangaka out there, but he's definitely one of the greatest of all time. And... They made two seasons of garbage, okay? Now, sometimes, so there's some fans that say, well, maybe it's better than nothing. Sometimes when you see things like this, I think nothing is actually better because, like, why would they waste their time trying to capitalize off of us? And that's, I mean, that's not a waste for them because clearly what are they doing? They're, they're investing maybe chump change in comparison to what it would have cost them to make something of sustenance and what do they do they obviously probably made money off of people subscribing people you know whatever going going to their app that's that they paid up they're the ones that benefited did we as fans no we felt like they they pissed on us they we felt like they humiliated us and disrespected us and this that concept applies to Promise Neverland. This is another great manga. I'm not trying to compare the two. I'm only trying to compare the the instances, the situations at hand. The fact that they literally could have just simply just recreated what happened. Okay? I think that it's it, it is clear as day to me that even when you have series that are as popular as they are, making the kind of money that they do. Because let's be honest, it's not like they're not making enough because even through a pandemic, what are people doing? They're spending all of their freaking stimulus checks, whatever kind of aid that they got. And not everybody's unemployed, okay? A lot are, but not everybody is. People are still going to whatever they can do to entertain themselves. What's happening? They're buying games. They're buying movies. They're buying manga. They're buying comics. They're fucking buying computers. Like, there's there is no excusing it. And if any, I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to be like, oh, but COVID, COVID, COVID. No. That is not... That is not an excuse. What's really going on is that the higher-ups are taking what we all love, what we have emotionally invested our time and energy into and our money. They have taken that and they have just twisted it to make themselves sound like, oh, they're trying to take these creative approaches, their plans for this, their, their visions for that. No. No. That is the cheapest way to tell us 
that they don't want to fully commit to what is true, what's a great adaptation, what makes it great to pay the respect to that series that, you know, got to where it got in popularity for a reason. I mean, listen, people are going to only start getting worse when they start doing this shit to other shows like My Hero, Demon Slayer. God forbid that never happened. I hope it doesn't happen. Okay, I really hope it doesn't happen because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, people are going to start rioting. I don't want that to happen. I don't want it to happen over some freaking anime. But li listen, there are people that are go crazy over this stuff. Okay, me, I at least know how to at least just talk about it and leave it at that. All right, I'm not trying to, you know, start a war. But I, what I am trying to do is make people aware. And this, th how they handled Promise Neverland Season 2, trash. Okay, you could watch season one and you can watch the first three episodes of season two and then just go right to the manga. I promise you, you'll have a better experience and a better time overall because what they do after that, after that episode where they just cut this, they, it's not even just they derailed. They just freaking hit a C4, exploded. They got scattered all over the place and they're just doing whatever. And that is not okay. And I'm very upset about it. Because it was, uh, Promise Neverland is one of my favorites, but now forever, in my mind, it will forever be tainted. That's something that you can't undo. You can try to make something else overlapping it, but that is always going to be a part of history. Period. They could make, I keep joking on Twitter saying, let me know when they make Promise Neverland Brotherhood. Same situation for Full Metal Alchemist. Well, I mean, Full Metal Alchemist was as good as, as it was, and then they just came out with the true one-to-one -one manga adaptation in Brotherhood. And people to this day are calling it one of the greatest, if not the greatest anime of all time, which I still need to finish. But my point, they don't care enough. They're trying to maximize their own pockets, and they have lost their best interest in the fandom. They don't care about us enough. They feel like they're at a point where they can kind of just take something that's known and popular and get away with whatever and then call it a day and then move on to whatever's hot and popular. And I'm telling you, that is not cool and I'm not okay with it. I hope what I said makes sense. Again, I'm sorry that this is not the usual kind of you know video where I'm you know excited and hype and whatever, but there's nothing to be hyped about stuff like this and i i swear i pray i pray on everything good that after you guys see this skit that i'm about to put out for attack on titan that i'm right and that there is a part two or a movie or something because they there's no way there's no way they're gonna do attack on titan dirty like that if they're doing promise neverland dirty if they're doing berserk dirty if they're gonna if they're gonna if attack on titan is the next victim then we're in some very interesting times to go forward, guys. It's been your boy, Ooch. Leave a comment, you know, like, share, you know, make sure, you know, you guys do the thing to get the algorithm going so that way more people can see what the hell we're talking about now because, I, you know, I, I wish we could talk about something else. But unfortunately, that is what they are. This is the signs that I'm getting off of their actions. All right. So I will see you guys. Um, in the next video, make sure you guys are, are hitting the subscribe button if you're new. And uh, yes, skits are coming. Stay tuned to the socials. I'll see you guys next time.